Fall City Sacred Heart going to play for a state championship tomorrow night. Olivia Eikhoff, Jessica Wartenberger, big games. Uh, ladies, again, you get to play for a state championship. Just how does that sound? Where are the, where are the emotions right now? Um, I'm stoked to get another chance to get back-to-back -back championships. And I'm just really excited to be back at PBA. Yeah, along with that, like I'm so excited like for my team to get to experience that championship again and hopefully back-to-back. -back. Playing against a really, really good team that you guys are familiar with. Um, in a really fun game to be on the court in a game like that. What's that like? It's it's tough because you know their plays, they know your plays, so you have to come up with new stuff like on the court, on the fly. They made it hard for you guys tonight uh, offensively. What was kind of the message? What were you guys trying to do that, that allowed you to do just enough to move on? Um, we really focused on taking care of the ball and trying to get it inside and creating and setting screens so we could open it up, open up driving lanes for our guards and, you know, just try and get things spaced out and it worked. For you specifically tonight, Olivia, what do you feel you did well offensively? I think I did a good job uh, calming the team down, getting us set up into play so that teammates could make plays and uh, driving too. I think I did a pretty good job about that. And Jessica, speak to your night offensively. Uh, again, they were making you work for everything, but what did you feel you did well? Um, I feel like I attacked the glass well. I was very aggressive, and I went for like most of the rebounds. Yeah. Got to ask you about the block. Uh, just kind of take us through it. Um, I saw her driving, and I just jumped, and I swatted it, and I really was nervous they were going to call me for a foul for a second. I see you've, you've got a hand wrapped. Was that the blocking hand? No, it's not. It's a different hand. In that moment, when you make a play like that, obviously late in the game, that, that basically clinches it, what is that moment like? How does that feel? You just you get filled with excitement because you know that that layup could have gone in if you wouldn't have hustled and swatted it. Defensively, uh, they were playing for the final shot of the end of regulation, and you guys were able to hold them. What was the message during those timeouts? What were you guys doing defensively that, that forced overtime? Um, we were saying no fouls and no easy looks and make sure to help side off of their number 50 for no lobs. Now you guys get to play for a state title tomorrow night. Uh, how do you guys try to attack that? Um, well, we're going to watch this next game and scout them and try to get the, to know their players, whoever wins, and prepare for them tomorrow. Olivia, what's it going to take tomorrow night? Um, it's going to take a lot of hard work. I mean, it's not going to be easy, but we just have to trust our training. I mean, all of us have been playing basketball since we were seven so we just have to trust our training and go out there and play the way that we know we can all right coach well this time of year it's about survive in advance uh and you guys did that just wow what a game where's the heart rate right now well i just you know, try to get some composure here but i don't know that last you know the fourth quarter and that overtime which is kind of a blur but survive in advance is perfect i guess we just made a few more plays you know l lucky to get it to overtime and just made a few more plays in overtime but that was tough that was tough very gritty win, uh, no doubt. What does that maybe say about this team to be able to win one when maybe you guys didn't play your best? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to play well. I mean, you get this far. I mean, both teams are so good defensively. There just wasn't there a lot, on, you know, a lot there on offense. But uh, gritty is, you know, a good word. We just said stay with it, stay with it, you know, keep your composure. I thought we did a pretty good job against the press. It's just when we got in the half court, we just couldn't run the offense or get any clean looks. But uh, I think there was a point where it was 27 to 23 maybe in the fourth quarter. We got a couple stops and got a couple buckets, tied it up, and then just, you know, got it to overtime. And, and we kind of stole that tip, you know, uh, in overtime and got up too, which is huge in an overtime, and just made a few more plays than they did. That final sequence in regulation, I mean, they were playing for the final shot from like a minute and a half to go on, uh, and you guys stopped them. What were you guys doing defensively overall? What are your thoughts on that final sequence? Yeah, I mean, the end of the game and the end of the overtime, we just stayed man, and you never know. I mean, with no shot clock, teams will probably just hold it. It's tough on their end, too. You know, do you want to go and try to score, or do you want the last shot? They decided the last shot, you know, and then they called those timeouts. And you're just guessing. I mean, it's hard to guard sideline out of bounds. It's hard to guard baseline out of bounds. So you're just giving the girls, you know, some stuff off the scouting report. Look for this. We tried to switch a lot of it. We thought number three might, you know, they might look at her. But um, we did a good job of switching out, getting that stop and securing a rebound. What can you say about Jessica in overtime? I mean, the block sealed it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she had those two free throws to go up for. Um, I mean, she made the block, I guess, yeah, before. So that was just good defense. But, you know, we challenged our seniors. 
we came out of the second half, had a couple bad turnovers. Again, running bad offense, but down the stretch, the seniors were huge. Um, I thought Olivia did a good job handling the ball all night, getting us in her offense, but yeah, Jessica, the, the block was huge, sealing it. This is a team that I know you've told me you thought you guys had a chance to be really, really good this year, but from an outsider's perspective, maybe a lot of people didn't feel that way with what you had lost. To be back where you guys were a year ago and two years ago, what does that mean? Oh, it's just huge. I mean, you're so happy for the girls just to give yourself a shot. I mean, just getting to Lincoln so hard, you know, and then go through here and, you know, beat somebody like St. Francis. But you're right. I mean, after we lost those four seniors last year, to come back with these four seniors, you're happy for them. You know, they just put so much time into it. Such good kids and work so hard. Um, you know, for them to get another crack at and be at PBA tomorrow night, I mean, that's pretty special. So, you know, they deserve it. They, you know, it's just incredible what they've done. What's it going to take tomorrow night? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we're going to try and enjoy this for a little bit. But, I mean, you beat somebody like St. Francis and you got to come around and, you know, play somebody like Why Not or, or Shelton. So, hopefully they beat each other up for Maybe they'll go overtime a couple times, you know, a couple overtimes and wear each, uh, you know, wear each other out. But yeah, either way, it's going to be tough. But we're going to try and enjoy this and then, you know, play the late game tomorrow night. So hopefully we can get our legs back underneath us.